Fasten your seat belts. It's a basketball doubleheader on TNT. First, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls soar into action versus the world champion Detroit Pistons. A year ago, Michael Jordan and his Chicago Bulls soared all the way to the conference finals. Now, Jordan and the Bulls are aiming even higher. Air Jordan has already struck for 54 points this season. Standing in the way, the world champion Piston. This is Bob Neal from Chicago Stadium on West Madison Street in Chicago. And it is a rematch of the Eastern Conference Finals. Detroit 2-0 on the early season. The Chicago Bulls are 1-1. The rematch from the finals last year in the regular season, Detroit swept Chicago 6-0. But the Bulls won two games in the finals before bowing out to Detroit in six now games. Now take a look at the Chicago Bulls and their new head coach, Phil Jackson. He's been trying to implement some changes both offensively and defensively. They're going to try and get a much more up-tempo game. Very reminiscent of the teams in the Western Conference as opposed to the Eastern Conference. More motion in their offense, as well as Bob stressing a lot more pressure on the defensive end of the court. Finding out that it's like a war every night that they step out there on the court. They have to work exceptionally hard to remain as the defending champions and try and repeat something very difficult to do. But if there ever was a team that can do it, the Detroit Pistons are the team, Bob. This team now knows what it takes to win. And for the Chicago Bulls, gone are Corzine, Sellers, Vincent, gone is head coach Duck Collins. Enter a couple of promising, highly regarded rookies and a new coach in Phil Jackson. A lot of changes. Yes, and those changes are going to cause some problems for this team to be able to finally gel. And what the Chicago area fans and the media are going to have to have is a little bit of patience. they got to give this time, this team and Phil Jackson, an opportunity to try and hone things in. Of course, when you make it to the finals of the Eastern Conference, people expect a lot of you. So it's it's going to be interesting to see just how patient the fans really are here in Good Chicago. Evening, I'm Frank Sager. Chicago and Detroit top off a busy slate in the NBA tonight with 18 teams in action. Now have highlights from tonight's games at halftime, but now let's go back to Bob Neal and Rick Barry at Chicago Stadium. Thanks, Craig. A capacity crowd expected at Chicago Stadium to see Michael Jordan, the defending world champion Detroit Pistons, and also the new coach, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson replaced Doug Collins. Phil was an assistant under Doug last year. Jackson, 13-year veteran from the NBA, 11 with the Knicks. He played on the 73 championship team, was with the team, but injured for the 1970 championship series. He coached for five years in the CBA, brought a championship to the Albany Patroons, but it's been a bumpy ride to the pinnacle. Well, I feel like a phoenix, you know. I've gone through the ashes a couple times and uh, flown back out, especially in uh, you know, my career when I had a back surgery and uh, missed out on a championship year in 70 and had to come back as a player. And then uh, my coaching career, uh, you know, starting as an assistant with the Nets and ending up in the CBA and then uh, struggling to get back into the NBA. And here I am with a team that's very exciting, very good basketball club. And uh, so it's like uh, going around in the merry-go-round a few times, even in Central Park, where you get to see that brass ring and make a grab for it. Phil Jackson, a man happy to be where he is. They're about to introduce the starting lineup here in Chicago. We'll be back for the opening tip-off in just a moment. The center. Dumars, the man who will have the key job of trying to stop Jordan, and Isaiah Thomas, who's been playing well early in this season. For Phil Jackson, Chicago Bulls, the starting lineup, Grant Pippen, Cartwright, Jordan, and Paxson. Sometimes you'll see what Jackson likes to call his big lineup. Jordan will move to the point. Stacy King will come in, and Pippen will move out to the guard position, and that'll give a fast big lineup to the Chicago Bulls. The officials tonight, Jack Madden, Eddie F. Rush, and George Tolliver. Jack Madden will toss it up, and you'll notice out in the center of the floor the blonde lady out there happens to be Martina Navratilova. She is in town for the Chicago Slims tennis tournament. She's going to toss up the ceremonial first ball. I'd like to have her tennis game on a bad day. <laughs> Bill Cartwright and John Sally will jump it up at center court. The Bulls and the Pistons. 
We've got our first loose ball foul early in the ball game against Chicago. It'll be Detroit ball. Chuck Daly. He'll be 60 this year, but Chuck Daly has got it under control. And there's one of the youngest coaches in the NBA, Phil Jackson. The interesting thing tonight will be to see just how well the Pistons can defend Michael Jordan with this new motion offense on the part of the Chicago Bulls. It'll be much more difficult, perhaps, to defend Michael since they're not going into set offenses often. And this is the man who owns the team, figuratively speaking. And they'd like to keep it out of his hands a lot, if possible. Isaiah Thomas. Nice feed to John Sally, who missed the attempted jam. Another foul on Chicago as McGuire oh, no, tried to stick it back up there. Scotty Pippen will pick up the personal. So Pippen and Grant with early fouls. And that's going to be an interesting matchup to keep an eye on. Chuck Daly feeling uh, before the ball game that the Aguirre matchup with whoever it is that Phil Jackson decided to put on him could very well be the determining factor in this game, as well as rebounds those areas closely. Mark Aguirre gets them both, and the Pistons out in front early. First minute of play from Chicago. A thin Mark Aguirre. Bill Cartwright, who's heavier this year, worked out in the offseason. Good spot-up shooter. John Paxson ties it up for Chicago. Paxson had a sprained ankle in the preseason. He's 100% now, we understand. Nice bounce pass into Aguirre. He has all four of Detroit's points. That came from Isaiah Thomas. Well, Chuck Daly may uh, have his crystal ball working. Oh. <laughs> Running to keep the ball away from Isaiah. Well, they've had three possessions. Isaiah's touched the ball every time. There's the nice pass inside as Pippen was overplaying and an easy layup for Aguirre with no weak side help. Paxson can tie into Grant with the left hand. Harris Grant. Saying to Sally, John, put your hand up on defense. Dumars against Michael Jordan. Ten on the shot clock. Off the baseline pick comes Isaiah. Now down to seven. Isaiah Thomas over John Thompson. He did a good job. Jordan has yet to score. And here's Dumars on Jordan. A repeat of the Sports Illustrated cover. <laughs> We'll watch Isaiah again. They want to keep it out of his hands, but here he goes down inside. He's going to use the little screen. He'll come off the screen by Aguirre and the good pass. Lost the handle, but quickly to the baseline. Now watch his right arm when he makes the move here. Boom, right there. That's a push off. That should have been an offensive foul. Nice feed inside to Grant from John Paxson. Horace Grant. Tied at 6, 9.40 remaining in the first quarter from Chicago along with Rick Berry. This is Bob Neal. NBA on TNT, doubleheader night. And the Soviet national team and UNLV coming up next. Cartwright worked out with a lot of weight training in the offseason to try to improve his strength and rebounding. Pistons running. Sally has Dumars, but he'll take it all away, and Sally John gets it to Sally. fall for his first basket of the night. 14 fouls on Chicago already. And we're going to get our first substitution of the ball game. Here comes the rookie from Oklahoma, Stacy King. Stacy's had offensive butterflies. He's 0 for 9 from the field in the first two games, but Bill Jackson still feels very confident with it. Can't get it to fall either. Detroit's cold shooting continues. Jordan with the no look down to Stacy King, blocked by Lane Beer, but the foul will be called on Lane Beer. Well, there's an opportunity right there for the Bulls to get the great game going off a missed shot, something that they didn't try to do a lot of last year, and as the result of it was a nice opportunity for Stacey King. King's only points have come from the free throw line. He adds to that. Stacey King needs to work on extension offensively when he's down in the post getting the ball up higher for his shot. Well, he's not used to playing against such outstanding people defensively, I and mean, it's not like going up one good against one good defender every three or four games in college. Lane Beer wide open on the baseline. He'll burn you there all night long. And the Pistons move the ball as well as any team in the NBA when you put pressure on them. Detroit by two. And Jordan. First points of the game for Michael Jordan. Jordan has already scored 54 in one game this year. Opening night, he announced his um, return to NBA Wars with 54. Here's Aguirre on the turnaround. Rebound Jordan. It's tied at 10. Pippen for three. He's got that shot. Sally over Stacey King. 
Nobody going to the offensive boards right now as Pippen lost the ball out of bounds, Bob, and that's a big difference. The, the Pistons have got to get to the offensive glass a little. Last two times they didn't. Last play of Michael Jordan. You watch him on the break opportunity coming down here. Open court. Takes it into the middle. Draws all of the traffic. Kicks it out as Aguirre came to help out. That left Pippen open, and he drills it. Bulls by three. Pass inside from Lambeer to Aguirre. He gets the basket and will go to the line. The leaner meter, Mark Aguirre. Chicago Bulls get a timeout. In the center of your picture, you see Stacy King as he listens to Phil Jackson. Stacy King comes in from Oklahoma. B.J. Armstrong from high Iowa, two of the most highly regarded rookies in the league. And even though they have a lot of talent, that means a lot of transition for this team. Well, yes, it does, Bob. Early season intensity in this ball game. It's a Bulls by three. They sure remember. Aguirre battles inside and he gets the foul. Aguirre has been very active He's inside. Had a lot of success in the past last season when they won all the regular season games, Bob, by hitting the offensive line. Bulls by two. Michael Jordan has four. What do you do? Dumars played great defense. Michael had to hang and shoot it on the way down and double clutch it. Shot clock down to 10 seconds for the Pistons. Trailing by four. Shot clock to five. Umars with a beautiful move, but he is aggressive offensively with the ball. Bulls up by six early. Jordan, this will be nice. Jordan showing his defensive and then offensive skills, and the Bulls lead it by eight. Take a look here at Michael Jordan with his defensive ability. Here he goes and strips it from Dumars. Comes from behind as Dumars got a little lazy with it. And, of course, the rest is history. Michael Jordan has six points in this game with the steal and the jam. 4.47 to go first quarter. Two games. So right now uh, they've got their work cut out for him playing against this tough Chicago team on the road. See Walter Payton looking on from the sideline. Aguirre with seven points. He gets fouled to go to the line again. Mark Aguirre working strong in the low post early in this ballgame. Paxson picks up two personals. Grant has two. Pippen has two for the Bulls early. And again, the Pistons showing the free throw line superiority in this game as well. Aguirre had 18 points in the season opener coming up next medal in the Seoul Olympics and we mentioned B.J. Armstrong from Iowa the rookie number 10 he's got the ball he looks like he's about 12 years old I understand he hasn't shaved yet and if he's smart he'll stay away from it as long as he can that was Charles Davis who also entered the game threw it away the fourth Chicago turnover and the Bulls get it right back he has it stripped here comes Dumars and Thomas. He'll blow right by him. Isaiah Thomas. Past Jordan, but Isaiah is one of them. And he shot it past Lane Beer in some heavy, heavy traffic. Lane Beer open on the baseline. He's hit two from there already tonight. And Detroit's getting back in this game with good defense. They made those two uh, steals to help get a couple of hoops, and now they're right back in it, only trailing by the baseline. Rebound to Rocky. Veteran Charles Davis, he's from Vanderbilt. Armstrong from outside. He's been shooting pretty well. Now, we talked about getting things they do so well, the Pistons defensively, Bob, is that they really deny people a position on the court. They, they just don't allow you to run like if you were in football. They say, don't let them run that pass route. Well, that's the same way here in basketball for the Pistons. They like to do a lot of bumping and disrupting the offense so that you can't get the ball where you normally would. And Bill Lane Beer uh, a little bit upset right now with Jack Madden. That's because Phil Jackson came out and convinced the officials that Rodman, who's a terrible free throw shooter, was the man who was fouled, not Lane Beer, who's an excellent shooter. And Phil Jackson got his way, and they're sending Rodman to the line. And now Phil's complaining because Chuck Daly came all the way back down to the across the half court, and he's not supposed to do that. And he's saying, that's a technical foul. What are you doing? 
Well, it's only the first game between these teams. They've got five in the regular season. Things are certainly heat up from here, and uh, Chuck Daly's not happy that they have to play three of those five here in Chicago Stadium. First three years in the league for Rodman, his career free throw shooting is 57%, but this year, until this trip, which was 50%, Jackson paid off. They got only one point out of the trip. Foul down low, and it's going to be on Rodman, trying to defend Stacy King. Brendan Sir, the assistant with Chuck Daly on the sideline. DJ Armstrong turning it over. Aguirre, red hot. That's 11 points for Aguirre in the quarter, and it's a one point Bulls lead. Stacey King with 10 on the shot clock. Back to Jordan, and here's Dumars defending him. Jordan just shuffles him off and hits the basket. Well, he did what Isaiah did down the other end, so turnabout's fair play. He got away with the push off that time against Dumars with the left arm this time he used. Bulls by three. Sally and Edwards about to come back into the game. Sally back into the game and Edwards for the first time in a moment. Lane Beer, he's three for three from that side. It'll be Detroit ball. Here come the substitutes. Lane Beer going at the ball. He just gets his, his leg caught on the back of his own leg and fell down. His right foot caught behind his left leg. He'll get a rest. Edwards and Sally check into the ball game for Detroit now. It'll be Edwards. Basically like having three rookies out there on the court. Just Purdue didn't get a lot of playing time last year. Jordan will pull up. Over Rockman, Michael Jordan. 29-26 Bulls, 10-51 to go first half. Vinny Johnson playing with a cracked rib. Rodman draws the foul. It had nothing to do with him but fouling. Well, smart. Atlanta leading Washington at the half. Guards Rodman, Sally, and Edwards up front. The Bulls with Purdue, Horace, Grant, B.J. Armstrong, Scotty Pippen. Michael Jordan gets a rest. Jordan sits down with 10 points. Pippen from 15. Sally. Nice move by Sally. Showed it, took it away, and then went to the other side of the basket for the lay -in. And Chicago gets a timeout. We've been talking about the up-tempo game that Chicago is trying to play this year. Well, the Pistons have shown us some good running opportunities in this game. Here's Vinnie Johnson taking to the middle. He gets Armstrong to commit, finds Sally on the wing, and it's an easy two for the Pistons. And they've gotten uh, quite a few opportunities. 10.05 to go in the half. Pistons lead it by one. Aguirre with 11, Jordan with 10 to lead the scorers in this game. Jordan resting on the bench for Chicago right now, as is Mark Aguirre. Purdue isolated against Edwards. He'll turn around, miss the jumper. Sally needs the rookie DJ Armstrong with six on the shot clock. Johnson off the screen, feeds to Edwards. James Edwards. Beautiful ball movement. Well, so they just Chicago can take the lead here. Pippen. Another offensive foul. That's three on Grant now as he was moving. So Horace Grant with three. He's going to sit down. Stacy King will get in. Stern also stars Emilio Estevez, Martin Sheen's real life set, and Leah Thompson. And Sally comes through again for Detroit as they're starting to have regain the lead on this possession. In the paints of Purdue. Goes to his left hand. Can't get it to fall. Here comes Rodman. E.J. Armstrong. The behind the back from... Vinny Johnson to Rodman, who gets the hoop, draws the foul. You know, this is not supposed to be the running team that we're supposed to be watching tonight, Bob, and yet the foul on the good move to the basket. And I'm impressed by the way that the Pistons are taking advantage of the breaking opportunities here. Uh, Rodman, five points, four rebounds early in the game. Make it six. Chuck's, you know, we're no longer the bad boys. We're the world champion now. We're not the bad boys. And I said, well, maybe in your eyes. But <laughs> everybody's going to keep thinking that of Detroit, as long as they're rough and tough. And they've already had some, some scuffs early in the year, despite the absence of Rick Mahorn. That was Vinnie Johnson's first basket. 18 on the shot clock, and Michael Jordan will come back into the ball game. As will Isaiah Thomas was the man who knocked it out. At the conclusion of tonight's game, Rick... Sally throws it out of bounds. 
Jones was looking for Rodman down to the baseline. It'll be Chicago ball. Well, I think Phil Jackson has to... John not quite ready to take the pass inbound from Cartwright with no damage done. Michael with the penetration in the pass. Cartwright will draw the personal and get the hoop. Cartwright with four points now. And there, Bob, we see again what penetration can do for you. Michael Jordan gets the penetration and draws all the defense to him. We'll watch him again. Out high, uses the great explosiveness that he has going to his left. Sally with his back turn. Now he sees it. He comes over to help. Edwards is forced to come over. That leaves Cartwright open and a good dish off by Michael, who's so adept at doing that. Isaiah picked up the personal as Lane Beer checks back into the ball game. So Detroit has Isaiah Thomas and Johnson in the backcourt to go with Rodman, Lane Beer, and Seth. There's the switch. Vinny Johnson just penetrates through the two forwards. Pippen, like, like a broken record. Penetrates. Knocked out of bounds by Sally. 13 on the shot clock for the Bulls. Trailing by four. Here's the penetration again. Got he worried about the screen, and then he got caught looking. And then Cartwright's a little slow. <laughs> Paxson didn't come to pick him up. Easy two. Jordan. Jordan has 12. Well, you get players like Cartwright and even Pippen out high on Vinnie Johnson. He's going to penetrate between the big men. That looked like he threw up a prayer over Jordan, but... It's Benny Johnson, and when he gets hot, everybody knows that he'll hit those. Even for anybody else, it would be a poor choice of shot. Benny Johnson will pick up the person. Jordan just lost Johnson there, but the team defense caused Jordan to give it up. Scotty Pippen from the wing. Over Rodney. Rodman has six boards in this ball game. All right. It, it looked like there was more than there really was. 3.47 to go in the first half. Jordan all over Benny Johnson. Forced him to throw it out of bounds. Too much Jordan. Oh, my. That's a nightmare. That, just watch this. It speaks for itself. Johnson tied in knots. He looked like minestrone soup on that one. Lane Beer picks up the personal. That's two. Ten on the shot clock. Lane Beer will try for three and get it. Lane Beer. Lane Beer. Gets the triple for the Pistons, and they increase their lead to four. Inside the King has it blocked. Was that Rodman? Yes. Oh, they love that here. Stolen by Johnson. Bad pass by John Paxson, and Vinny will take it all away. Vinny Johnson. Pistons by six. Vinny played that passing angle perfectly that time. Again. Stolen by Johnson again. That's two in a row. And the microwave showing you some defense. He has 10 points all in the quarter. And he's pointed at Chuck Daly saying, get me out, coach. He's sucking wind right now. And Michael <laughs> drew right by him and drew the foul. So he got him out of there, but a little too late. He committed the foul. He has two. Jordan will go to the line when we return. Try to cut into this lead some. Of course, they're going to have Michael Jordan going to the free throw. And that should knock two more off of But Benny Johnson uh, is showing a little bit of the fatigue uh, that he justifiably should feel after he went five for eight in this quarter and made two big steals in a row to increase that piston lead up to eight but it's been the, the piston defense and also I think Bob the Pistons ability to get break opportunities they've actually outplayed Chicago in, in the fast break with opportunities and points scored something that Chicago wants to try to do to the Pistons there's his story so far in this game so the Pistons lead it by seven the Bulls only four out of seven from the free throw line. That's been one of the difference. Detroit nine out of 13 in the first half. Aguirre. Nice pass from Isaiah Thomas. Aguirre came all the way to the far side of the court, down the baseline and around to get that pass. That's one of their set plays. Give him a couple of screens, pop the shooter open. Jump shooter when he gets himself set. 
but again the Pistons are going to try to make you win the game from outside they're not going to give you very much inside and generally speaking that's a pretty good philosophy to have Aguirre seven of nine from the free throw line to go with his 15 points in this first half Pistons by 11 who had hoped to cut that seven point lead and seen it just go away because of the defense and the Pistons heads up play. You can't make a pass like that and just stand there and be looking inside with Isaiah off of you. You've got to bring Isaiah up. If he's off of you, he can make a play like that. Did the same thing to B.J. Armstrong earlier. Double shot clock. Yeah. Aguirre, 17 Aguirre. first half points. Make it 18. That's a three-pointer. That matches Aguirre's opening game 18, and we have 12.1 seconds remaining in the first half of play with the Pistons leading 59 to 45. Well, footer, he has eight points in this game now, and that's the end of the first half with the Pistons leading it by 12 points. But now let's go back to Bob Neal and Rick Barry at Chicago Stadium. Thanks, Greg Sager. The Detroit Pistons holding a 12-point lead over the Chicago Bulls, 59 to 47. It was the Detroit defense that really came to play. It really was, Bob. They really cranked things up a couple of notches there uh, late in that second, in that first period, and into the second period. And there were not that many turnovers by Chicago. It was 10 to 7 in favor of Detroit. But look at the points, 17 to 7 in that area. We we'll show you an example of one of them. Vinnie Johnson, who had a couple of big steals, plays the angle perfectly to knock that pass away from Paxson to Jordan, and he takes off and goes down. He was five of eight in the second period alone so he played it well on both ends of the court then another... Chuck Daly's world champion Detroit Pistons 2 and 0 on the young season and then another great opportunity for the Pistons that went awry Michael Jordan. Jordan with 14 now 10 point Pistons lead Paxson and Jordan in the backcourt Cartwright Pippen and Grant up front for Chicago Lane Beer from long range Beer. the assist to Isaiah Thomas. There's a two-man game. They went and they jumped it. Nobody rotated up to pick up Lane Beer, and uh, he's very tough in that area. They make a living off of that play. Lane Beer has 11. He's five out of six from the floor, by the way. Cartwright, good move inside, but can't get it to fall. Dumars, Isaiah Thomas in the backcourt. Lane Beer now with 14 points as he hits the triple. That's his second three-pointer of the night. Scotty Pippen. Isaiah Thomas with a fully chosen shot. Michael Jordan. Well, as I was talking about Detroit's defense on Jordan, it's been all Jordan here early for Chicago. Here's Lambeer for another triple. That's three. Cartwright came off of him, and Lambeer is red hot from outside. 67-53 Pistons with 9.48 to go in the third quarter. The Pistons lead it by 14 points now. Lame Beer has been on fire. Six out of seven from the floor tonight. He's three for four from three-point territory and has 17 points to go with Mark Aguirre's 18. Oh Cartwright. For three, Pippen. Yes! And what the Pistons have done is they let the Bulls and the crowd get back into this game by being content to go for the outside shot. They got to try and get inside a little bit. Chuck Daly taking the 20 second time. He is rebounding. If this game is any uh, example, he certainly has done that. And Mark File, Chicago trainer, says that Cartwright's suspect knees have been holding up very well. Also, there's Cartwright committing the foul on the Isaiah Thomas penetration. First personal on Cartwright. Isaiah Thomas has been quiet tonight. That's his first point since early in the ball game. Only seven for Isaiah. Yeah, but Isaiah is one of those players that doesn't have to score points for his team to win. In fact, a lot of people feel that they're much better off if he gets 15 to 20 and gets more assists. Chuck Daly talked about it at breakfast this morning. Said, yes, Isaiah Thomas could be a 30-point-a-night scorer, but the team would not be nearly as good if he did. Jordan with a penetration. He draws the foul. But you notice they don't let him get all the way to the basket for a dunk. There's always somebody in there helping out. That's uh, typical of the Piston defense. Basketball, the running reps of 
I'll tell you another hot basketball team. I saw them work out in Baton Rouge recently. And that is the LSU Bengal Tigers. Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Jackson down in Baton Rouge. Of course, Larry Johnson's a player that's getting a lot of tout at UNLV. McGuire gets the basket, had to pay a price. Horace Grant fell on him, no personal. Pistons by nine. Jordan leans in. Jordan has 21 points. At 12 at the half. Isaiah Thomas down inside the paint over John Paxson. I don't think anybody's told Isaiah at his size he's not supposed to be posting people up. Horace Grant, who's been quiet tonight, has it blocked by Sally. Grant wanted to foul. Probably just personal frustration there. Aguirre from Thomas. Read on Grant. Eight on the shot clock for Dumars. Joe Dumars. Joe Dumars, I like to say last year, one of the most underrated players in the league. He's now rated, but the leaves it over notwithstanding. Cartwright from the baseline shoots the air ball. Look at Grant. Stole that one. Grant. That last play, Bob, is a perfect example of Dumars concentrating on Jordan. Normally he would play, but he didn't leave Pippen to stay with Michael. Michael goes for the steal, and Dumars protects the ball. Jordan literally in the shorts of Dumars. <laughs> Backs it in, bangs it down to Aguirre. That was Jordan's defense. And then help from his friends. Jordan draws the foul on the baseline drive. John Sally. And then Horace Grant. Able to come off of this missed shot, to just take it right away from John Sally, who was looking around wondering what happened. It wasn't Sally, actually, it was uh, looked like Isaiah who was underneath there. Exactly. Jordan now with 22 in the game, and Bill Jackson, the first year Chicago coach, looking on from the sideline, making some changes, not only in personnel, but in style of play. Dumars gets the basket, draws the foul from Cartwright. That's number two on Cartwright. Now what we they put it on. Look, Isaiah. Isaiah just goes ahead and knifes right through it, finds Joe Dumars, who draws the foul. Chance for the three-point play. You hear the story about Dumars and the Sports Illustrated cover showing Dumars kind of holding down Michael Jordan. Dumars said that he was not told by the photographer that that's how the picture was going to be used. He said he just made me do a whole lot of silly poses. Then they juxtaposed the two shots together. That's a great pass by Michael Jordan and knocked away from Horace Grant. Yeah, and then what happened? He said Michael would probably go out and get 50 on because he'd be mad at the picture. Well, Michael's almost halfway there. He has 23. And Dumars. Amazon Joe Dumars. And the other things that justify his being out there on the court. Here comes Jordan. Sally slips to the floor, trips Jordan, and he'll pick up the personal foul. That will be three on Sally. <laughs> it's a little more reminiscent of the Bears and the Lions and the Pistons and the Bulls. You see, Sally got tripped up by Dumars, then he goes and gets a cross body block. Uh, <laughs> Might have been an illegal, illegal block, clipping. wasn't it? Clipping, yeah. Right behind, clipping. yeah, definitely. 15 yards. Knows oh, basketball. Had kind of a week in his eye, didn't he? Chicago with another turnover. That's a foul on Scotty Pippen. Did you just see that? Three new gray hairs popped into Phil Jackson's head right and there in live right on television. Yeah, and this is what, the uh, third game third of the game. season? <laughs> 13 years in pro basketball, 11 with the Knicks, played on the 73 championship team, coached in the CBA with the Albany Patroons, took them to a championship in 84. He's paid his dues. Isaiah stutter stepping. Isaiah they have not played that play uh, very well. Uh, Isaiah with 12 points now. He had no points in the second quarter. <laughs> Jordan being defensed by the taller. Dennis Rodman draws the foul. Wanted to get the three-point opportunity. And let's have a look at tonight's Wendy's NBA scoreboard. 
action around the NBA. Miami out in front of New Jersey late in that ball game. On the road. Look at this one. Atlanta locked in another battle with Washington at the Omni. Hawks lost their opener by 23 at the Omni. That's Milwaukee a big problem. Now the Bulls run three on four. Grant. What a move! Look at the body control of Horace Grant like a ballerina. Gee, the Bulls making a run. Sally from the long range, out of his range. Horace Grant, the player there, has it stripped away, and now Paxson. Pippen's missed a couple little lay-ins inside. That's a kick ball. A kick. Hey, we were talking about the Sports Illustrated cover with Dumars shutting down Michael. You see, there's Dumars, who was in another studio just kind of posing, and they juxtapose it over Michael with his tongue out. Michael said, doesn't bother me any. That Sports Illustrated cover. Do you believe that? Uh, I don't know. No, I, don't, I don't. You know, I mean, I, I think he probably feels that he has something to prove to Joe Dumars, who has had terrific success against Michael. That's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. Well, speaking of teams, the team in the NBA in terms of team play is the Detroit Pistons. John Paxson from Michael Jordan. It is a four-point Pistons lead. The Bulls have cut ten from that 14-point spread. Thomas. Mark McGuire. Couldn't get it, but his playground buddy Mark McGuire does. The West Siders combined. Isaiah grew up not too far from Chicago Stadium. Michael with the double clutch. Oh, my! Oh. And the foul. Jordan, 14 of Chicago's 29 points this quarter. Now, the thing about it is, as you watch Michael do this, he makes this look so easy as he made a great crossover move to beat the defense. He was up in the air, had somebody on his arm, and still had tremendous body control and the soft touch to get a three-point play. That, that's, what a great athlete. Sally has four personals for Detroit. Pistons by three, 223 to go, third quarter. It's a beauty. Look at that run. 22 to 9 in the last five and a minutes and some change. McGuire has it stripped away by Jordan. Pippen with the pull up. He really committed himself. Chicago trails by three. Pippen on the turnaround. Shot clock to 10 for Detroit. Isolation for Isaiah. Paxson with a foul. Chicago Stadium capacity crowd. Third game of the season for both of these teams. Along with Rick Barry, this is Bob Neal. Pistons had led it by 14. The Bulls have cut it now to one with a minute 25 to go in the third quarter. They were in that first half, but Michael Jordan's turned things up a notch himself here. That's the end of the third quarter, and the Pistons' lead has been cut to one. They got the tempo of the game up to the area that they liked it. They got aggressive defensively and on the offensive boards, and they were able to get Michael Jordan off as a result of that. In fact, with Miami, formerly with Atlanta. Vinny shooting over the double team. Pistons by three. Being against Hastings. Jordan. Just left Scotty Pippen. Sliding in the paint. And now the new bad boy, Scotty Hastings, about to take it on with the rookie from Oklahoma. Well, uh, I tell you one thing, I admire the fact that uh, Stacey King certainly didn't back down from anything there as they got tangled up underneath the basket battling for it. Hastings liable to wind up with a technical. But watch Hastings. He gets a little shove to King. King tries to go in. He kind of hooks him. He's trying to push his way in. And then Hastings just grabs him around the neck, pushes him away. Now there's a little slap there. On the part of Stacy King, uh, he'll pick up a little fine for look that. I'm sure. He's got the look. Look, look at the scar. Look at right the scar there, on the know. left eye there, right underneath it. I mean, this guy looks like he belongs in Detroit. If you want to go with the reputation, first action. He's, he's out, out of the game bad. because he threw us. He slapped at at, uh, at Hastings, but it was Hastings who who started it. It was Hastings, the guy 
who began the confrontation. And now his first ejection of his new NBA career. Lose a few dollars. Also a technical for throwing the ball as Phil Jackson gets a chance to talk to Jack Madden, lead official in tonight's ball game. The Jaguars will shoot the technical foul for Detroit. Stacy King has been ejected. That'll hurt Chicago. They need him off the road against Dumars. Eight o'clock Eastern Time. And Craig Hodges has checked in for Chicago to join Michael Jordan in the backcourt. So it'll be Pippen, Grant, and Cartwright with Hodges and Jordan for Chicago. Michael will take on the point guard role here with Rodman on him. Drops it off down low. Cartwright draws the foul. Rodman will pick up the personal. Well, here we see the penetration this time on the part of Chicago, something that Michael Jordan's been able to do here, especially in the second half. He gets by Rodman with his quickness. Edwards came over to defend him. Look at the great hustle on the part of Rodman to switch off and pick up Cartwright. Unfortunately for the Pistons, he was called for the foul. Michael good rebounder. Oakley, an excellent rebounder, not a good low post scorer. Now Cartwright trying to fill out his role on this. That very interesting angle. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. Dumars with a rainbow. Drive, but Pippen was right there. Or excuse me, Rodman. Then Pippen with the basket. Hastings picks up his second personal. He positioned that time, and he was able to get a hand on that ball, but it went to Pippen. Crowd loved the fact that the personal was on Hastings. They're already learning to hate him. Edwards against Cartwright. Seven on the shot clock for Dumars. Joe Dumars. Joe Dumars. Hastings by three. Leading it by three and in possession of the ball. 9-16 to go in the ballgame. And the intensity level is exceptionally high. I mean, we've got you know, 9-16 <laughs> to go in this game. And yet they're playing like this the last minute of the game. It's really been this way from the get-go in this ballgame here. Michael now. was late getting there, and fortunately, Dumars lost Dumars. the ball. Dumars from the corner. It's been all Dumars. He has nine points in the fourth quarter with 8.54 remaining, and the Pistons build their lead back to five. 92, the NBA players will be eligible. We'll really see some Olympics action by then. A triple two times now on the drive. He lost the handle, and they're on the dribble. Trey Hodges. Chicago into that motion offense. Grant with a big rebound and the stick back. Horace Grant he playing sprained his big. ankle. He sprained his ankle. He came down on the side of someone's foot, I believe, and he sprained his ankle. Misses, and Cartwright with a rebound, and Chicago finally gets the timeout, and they're working on Horace Grant on his right ankle down at the far 20 end. Second it's a 20-second time timeout time out for Chicago, and, and Horace Grant definitely looks to be in pain. That's Mark File, the Chicago trainer in the green shirt. Well, we've got it on the shot here. Keep an eye on the left. Lose him. He's such an important part of this team, and with Stacey King being ejected. ejected from the game now, we're going to get to see Jack Haley come in, who's a very seldom-used player. Let's see if we can see whose foot he steps on as we take another look at the replay of Horace Grant. Jack we'll watch his shot. Now watch the right foot comes down. Yes, on his side. You see it there as it goes outward. Stepped on the right foot of James Edwards. Excellent replay there by our cameraman to show that. Now how severe that is, uh, it's hard to say. A lot of times you can turn it over depending on how many times you've done that, Bob, and it can hurt like crazy for a while, but you might be able to come back. But the longer he sits, the less the, opportunity, the chances of that happening are. Hastings will trigger it. Hodges trying to defend Dumars. Joe Dumars. And Joe's turned it on here. Dumars has 10 points in the fourth quarter. The reason being is that Rodgers had the defensive assignment on Jordan, so Joe could go to offense. Yeah. There's the right ankle of Horace Grant. John Sally set to check back. Where it hurts a great deal for a few minutes. And you can come back in the ball game. So Horace Grant giving it a shot. Yeah, he unlaces that sneaker, though, and it'll be a balloon. 
But Horace Durant apparently going to check back into this ball game with the Pistons leading it by two. And in possession of the ball, Cartwright with the foul on Lane Beer. That's four on Cartwright. Chicago. Capacity crowd, standing room only at Chicago Stadium as the Bulls have battled back from a 14-point deficit to trail by two. Along with Rick Barry, this is Bob Neal. Early in the season of NBA coverage on TNT, one of the biggest games of the early season, the two Eastern Conference finalists battling it out. This game has been Aguirre early, Jordan later, and Chicago Stacey King ejected for throwing a punch at Scott Hayes. An experienced Haley uh, is going to have a difficult time getting the job done, and he seems to be walking uh, very effectively. No limp. Pippen, Grant, and Cartwright with Paxson and Jordan for Chicago. It's been crunch time for about an hour. Seems that way. Jeff Malone had 26, Bernard King had 21, and the Hawks fall to 0-2 as the Bullets get a win in Atlanta. 14 points for Isaiah Thomas, his first basket of this quarter for Detroit. Jordan, who's been quiet in this quarter, gets it to Paxson. He'll get that one. Here's the tough defensive assignment for Paxson. Now the mismatch. And the ball movement. Rodman from Lane Beer set up by the two-man game with Isaiah and Bill. I know Phil Jackson's not going to be real pleased with the way that they played that two-man play tonight. And Chicago had wanted to keep the ball out of Isaiah's hands. It's out now. Let's see what happens. Paxson will stay all over him. Nine on the shot clock. Looking for Isaiah down low. Paxson trying to deny him the ball, but now he's got it with five on the shot clock. Paxson had to commit the foul with only two remaining on ball, the shot clock. Paxson is for the teams, boy. Well, we talked about defense. This time, Dumar has got back he's to having to play Michael Jordan, and he's got a little help from Bill Lane Beer, and that allowed Paxson to get open. He wasn't able to drop the shot in, however, for the Bulls. Jordan had 15 in the third quarter, by the way, only two points in this fourth quarter. As Isaiah Thomas goes to the line. Well, again, to the cut of offense that Phil Jackson uh, like to have this team playing. Isaiah double-figure assist tonight, a double-double, and somebody's damaged the ball. I think the little needle showing up. See the little, the little where you put the needle in to blow the ball up? It's, it's protruding from the surface of the ball, and Isaiah felt it when he went to go ahead and shoot it. In this neighborhood, when Isaiah was growing up, I guarantee he played with balls in not quite as good a condition as that, so he can... I think worked through that problem. Jordan just can't get loose from Dumars. They're going to get him the ball anyway. They just pull up. Thirty-two points in this game for Michael Jordan with a prayer. Jordan got the rebound. The loose ball foul is going to be on Sally. That's five on John Sally. Detroit in the penalty. The Bulls will go into the penalty the next time they commit a foul. And Chuck Daly telling Isaiah Thomas what, how to go and attack what the Bulls are doing defensively to that two-man play. He did not like Isaiah's decision that time. Jordan, 9 out of 11. 10 out of 12 from the free-throw line. And Jordan with 34 points. Well, Chuck Daly said that he'd be worried if Michael gets you know into that 40 range, and he's uh, right, right there Six now. 6 out of 9 from the line tonight, though. That is better than 50%. Jordan has it blocked by Sally. Takes it back. That is super, super defense individually and team-wise. Dumars with great defense. Could almost drew the offensive foul. Sally over to help out. I mean, that's terrific defense. <laughs> great job by Horace Grant, but Pippen stepped it on the line. Detroit ball. Go in the ball game. They'll set up that half court offense now. Play instructions from Daly on the far sideline. <laughs> Isolate Isaiah. Isaiah Thomas. Paxson has to play off of him or he'll penetrate. He does that. And Isaiah buries it. <laughs> Jordan is fouled by Dumars. 
And that's four on Joe Dumars defending Jordan tonight. Well, you notice the luxury that Chuck has. He can switch people around, and Rodman wasn't doing as effective a job. He wanted Joe back on him, so he, what did he do? Brought Isaiah in so Isaiah can get hot offensively and make Joe go back to working tough defensively. Coming up next, Soviet national team versus UNLV from Las Vegas. A chance to see Stacy Ogman, Larry Thompson, highly touted young player for UNLV against the Soviet national team. I think this is a great example we're seeing tonight of what the Central Division is going to be like. We know it was a tough division last year, and to make matters even worse, Indiana looks like they're going to be a greatly improved team. They're 2-0, and that's just what the Central needs, right? To have everybody playing tough ball. Detroit gets a timeout. And the Bulls have an opportunity to tie this game up. They had trailed by 14 in the third quarter. Our Honda leaders, you see Michael Jordan averaging 32.6 for his career, leading the greats like Chamberlain, Baylor, West, Bob Pettit, and tonight, Jordan with 36 points, and his team with an opportunity to tie this game up with two minutes and 57 seconds remaining at a sold-out Chicago stadium. We talked about the fact that Michael Jordan's been such an important part, an integral part for, of the offense for Chicago. When he first came into the league under Kevin Lockery, he scored 26% of the Bulls' total points. And uh, then, of course, he was hurt the next year when he played uh, 16 games with an injury. And then with Doug Collins for three years, he scored 33% of the team's points. And now this year, after two games with Phil Jackson, he's scoring 34%. They said they wanted to take a little of the burden off of him. <laughs> I guess again. <laughs> and he's right about that same level tonight, a little better than that, 36 out of 103. Paxson looking for Jordan. Jordan goes to the floor as Dumars had a had a good hold around his waist, among other things. They slipped on that paint in there. It's very drippy because of the perspiration in the building. Aguirre about to come back into the game for Detroit. Chuck, a little cotton mouth there. This game's getting uh, quite a, quite intense, even more so than it has been. Watch again. Oh. Here's Dumars off the baseline screen. Is that Detroit ball movement? Now Dumars against Michael Jordan on the penetration and the personal foul. It's on Bill Cartwright. It's on Cartwright. That's five on Cartwright. Rodman go over to Michael in this fourth period. Uh, Dumars has been out there. Daly continuing to shuffle. Aguirre sitting down. Sally back into the game. Sally has five personal fouls. I know Phil Jackson's got to feel pretty good this fourth period. He has not gotten into the type of tempo that he wants, and yet they're hanging right in there with the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons generally know how to defense Jordan better than any team in the league. Michael, nevertheless, does have 36 tonight. Kicks it out to John Paxson. Minute 40 remaining. There's the trap. Thomas just had to throw it up. It goes out of bounds. Jack Madden, the referee, was standing right there. That was outstanding double-team defense on Isaiah. And it was Michael Jordan. They came over to pit the double. There was nobody came to make themselves available. Isaiah almost got tied up there. Sees the open Sally, but he just threw it so high that he had no chance to pull it down. Sally, that is. This place will explode if Chicago ties. Inside to Grant! Now we'll watch the Bulls give Detroit a little of their own medicine on the two-man game. They're going to go and double Michael Jordan. That leaves Cartwright open. Over to come and help out Sally. That leaves underneath Grant open. They didn't make the rotation on the switch, and Michael Jordan found them. And here's how it looks coming right at you. The capacity crowd has gotten their money's worth here tonight. It's tied at 109 with 115 remaining. And it was 86-85 Detroit. 10.55 to go in the ballgame. So the Bulls have had to play without any relief help for their forwards. Then it looked like Horace Grant was going to 
sprained his ankle and missed the game. He's limping a little bit right now, but has played very strong and got that last basket. World champion Detroit Pistons, 2-0 on this young season. Isaiah, stripped away by John Paxson. Michael Jordan! The Bulls have regained the lead. Timeout. Pistons. 58 seconds remaining in the game. Detroit got a little of their own medicine in great defense and a breakaway basket. Well, this is what you have to do down the stretch to win games in this league. You've got to play good defense. Here you see Michael Jordan goes on to Dumars, an outstanding defense. Isaiah comes off the screen, all the help in, but Paxson that time is able to reach in, knock it away, and then it's all Michael Jordan. But Bob, the turning point in this game is when the Pistons got up 14 points. They all of a sudden became content to take the outside shot, and they allowed the, the, the Bulls to start hitting the offensive boards. It didn't control their defensive glass, and that is what enabled the Chicago team to come back in. And then the crowd got in it, the Chicago defense got better, and it's been Chicago ever since that time. Well, the Bulls lead it by in big trouble, playing a lot more conservative, playing a lot of half-court stuff, but they have managed to hang right in there, and now lead Jordan with from the slam cam, should be called the Jordan cam. <laughs> and that gave the Bulls the two-point lead. A brutal pick by Lane Beer. He gets the ball back and misses the jumper. Everybody on their feet at Chicago Stadium. They still have to score here. Jordan kicks it to Paxson. Detroit. The Chicago Bulls had trailed by 14 in the third quarter. They have taken a four-point lead with 23.9 seconds remaining in this ball game. Couple but they do not have to shoot the ball again to win this basketball game. Michael Even. Jordan with 38 points. Chuck Daly, a four-point deficit with 23.9 remaining. Isaiah off the screen over Paxson. Clutch basket, Chicago timeout. Isaiah, with ice water in the veins, went right into the corner, actually sailed out of bounds after he launched that shot and hit it. It's a two-point Bulls lead with 21.3 remaining. Now you got to foul somebody. Hopefully they could get it into the hands of somebody who's not a real great free-throw shooter. Inbounded to Jordan, who is 12 of 13 from the line tonight. As Dumars commits the fouls on the one guy, you don't want to foul. This is true. I would think uh, perhaps the Chuck would have rather have had him double on Jordan or leave somebody else open, their worst free throw shooter. Unfortunately, I think probably that would have been Pippen, who was taking the ball out of bounds, so a smart decision on that part, on the part of Jackson. Gets one of them. It's three points. 114-111 Bulls lead with the time remaining in the lower right of your screen. Lane Beer tries the three-pointer, doesn't get it. Big rebound by Pippen, loose ball foul on Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> the broadest shoulders in the NBA. 14, great confidence builder. Pippen gets them both. Bulls by five, Detroit out of timeouts. Three-point attempt by Dumars is good with less than a second remaining. Five. No, they call the push on Detroit with no time elapsed. That's Dumar's six. It doesn't mean anything, though. Jordan. Free throws. Desperation heave by Isaiah Thomas. The Bulls win it by three and go to two and one on the season. The world champion Detroit Pistons fall to two and one. Detroit had led by 14. The Bulls battled back for the victory. We'll be back. To Chicago in a moment. Michael Jordan had 40 points, five rebounds, seven assists, and the light beer player of the game is Michael Jordan.